Let's look at some more descriptive statistics still here at the uh, Describe tab. Let's clear these data. Then, if you like, you can type in your own data points. Or we can generate data. So I'm going to generate, let's choose skew right, and let's leave all the rest the same. We'll get 100 data points. There we go. And here we have uh, n equals 100 data points. You could type in here a data set name and units if you wish. 100 data set points, and we do have positive skew, a tail out to the right here and the frequency histogram also shows a tail out to the right, of course. We could eyeball the mean. Now it's a bit more tricky because we know it's going to be pulled out to the right by the uh, these points out in the tail. So where are we going to say? About 48 maybe? And a standard, well let's turn that on. Mean, oh, even further out. At, uh, almost 50. Now the standard deviation we're going to eyeball maybe about 10? 9? 8. I'm going to say 9. And oh 8.5. There we go. One standard deviation above, one standard deviation below. If we turn those off we can now turn on the cursor and we have a slider along the bottom here and a cursor controlled by the slider that marks uh, a point on the x-axis and makes points to the left of that, data points to the left of that, or bins entirely to the left of that red. And this tells us that 29% of the data points are to the left of this particular cursor value or 13% to the left of this bin boundary. And this is an illustration of percentiles. So this point on the x-axis, round about 57, is the 84th percentile in this data set because 84% of the data points lie to the left of 57. Well, where is the median? It's by definition the 50th percentile. And if we move this cursor back close to it, we'll find that it's pretty close to 50% uh, when we uh, are right there on the median, 50% right there. Now, quartiles. A special name for the first quartile the 25th percentile and the third quartile the 75th percentile then the distance from this first to third quartile is the interquartile range. Just using percentiles we can use the interquartile range as a measure of spread in the distribution. Let's turn those off and just look at mean and turn off the cursor as well and look at mean and median. And as we'd expect with positive skew, the mean is pulled out to the, towards the right tail relative to the median. So we've typed in data, we've generated data, and now let's copy in data from another file. Here I've opened up the exercise three data file and gone to the college survey one tab. This is what I'd need for the end of chapter exercise 2 and I want the positive affect data so if I come up here to positive affect and scroll down to the bottom of that column and now shift click I will select all those data points control C to copy come back to ESCII now select the top cell in the column of data. Um, then I could right click for paste options. In fact, paste special. I want paste special values. And 
there they are. How many do we have? Lots and lots and lots and lots of them down there. Oh, about 200 and something. A few gaps there. 235 data points. And here is the dot plot and the frequency histogram of our positive affect uh, data. So we could type in here that this is um, uh, positive effect and we could uh, type in a name for the data set and uh, here we are positive affect so that's a brief look at a few more facilities a few more things you can do within the describe page